So now I'm going to show you how to connect your IR Sun regulator to your IR Sun app on your phone. The first thing we need to do is I'll just put in my phone here. See this app here called uh, IR Sun. Okay, so this app here called IR Sun. This is the app you need to download on your phone. You need to create an account using your email address and so on. Uh, it's available on Android and Apple. Just going to refocus this camera here for this video. Um, so you've done that. Then we jump back to to the IR Sun regulator itself. We go into settings. We go into Wi-Fi, and then we go in to this one here. So it, when when you open up this section, it'll say no Wi-Fi. So you go into this one here. And what you will do is manually put in the SSID. This is on the back of the router. Now, this is very important. It would only work off 2.4G. If you have a Wi-Fi that gives off 2.4G and 5G, uh, you must disable the 5G first. If when you go in to search your Wi-Fi, it only shows one Wi-Fi, you need to contact your service provider and they'll need to split the, the signals. So when you search on your Wi-Fi, you'll see a 2.4G and a, and a, and a 5G. Um, let me just show you that here. Um, so if I go into my Wi-Fi here, for example, um, I'm connected to this one here, but then you'll see there I have a, a 5G connection and a 2.4G connection. So the 5G won't work, 2.4G will work. Now, if I want to connect to 2.4G, I need to disable the 5G. Um, so you'll need to contact your provider. If it doesn't work, your Wi-Fi is not compatible. Um, and that's the, that's, we, that will need to be resolved first. So what we do is we put in the SSID, this is on the back of your router, and we put in the password. So my password is eight zeros. Just, I've set up this Wi-Fi just to show you. And the TP link, that's it there. And that's just copied straight off the back of the router. And then the password is on the back of the router, or else if you've changed it, put in your revised password here. Then we go to scan the QR code, right? Now you'll notice on the bottom, see, see these dots starting to appear. That means that gives you an idea of the signal strength between the device and the router. Now, if you search Wi-Fi on your phone, uh, it will come up stronger because the antenna in your phone is stronger than the antenna in the IR Sun. So if that's showing one bar, you are getting a low signal between you and the, and the Wi-Fi. And if it's, a, if it's four bars, you're getting a very good, strong connection. So in this example, uh, I'm getting four bars, which means the connection between the device here and the, the um, Wi-Fi is very strong. Then what I need to do is I need to go into the app on my phone. Um, I'm going to open it up. Okay, I'm just opening up the app here now. And um, so you'll see there, uh, I have already a few devices already here and they're already uh, set up. But what we do is if, if, if we go into the top right hand corner of the screen and we hit this menu and then we go into add device. Now we can add via Wi-Fi or we can add via scanning the QR code. So we're going to scan the QR code, right? And then we're going to go to next and scan this QR code. So that's after picking it up. Then I'm going to put in the device name and we'll just do test uh, three and confirm. Yeah, now so you can see the test tree now has been connected onto that Wi-Fi. So that's it, guys. Very simple. That's what you do. If it doesn't connect, um, it's more than likely something to do with your Wi-Fi in the, in the property. So if I go back out of this, I can see I'm now connected. If there's an update there, do update it. And I'm connected to this here. So uh, best practice is just check for an update as well. Okay, thank you.